In this video I will show you how to work efficiently with query parameters inside URL without any additional libraries. So previously I always used some libraries in order to work efficiently with query parameters, like for example query string, because you need sometimes to append parameters, remove parameters, convert object with parameters to the stringified parameters, and inside JavaScript we didn't have anything which can help us. But now we have, as you can see inside can I use, we have a URL API. And this is where it is available. So if you are not supporting something like EA11 or before, then you are totally fine with using it. And here I want to show you most typical use cases that I am using every day. As you can see here, we have a base URL and we want to add to it some query parameters. What we can do here, we can create a URL with new URL. And as you can see here, we are getting back a URL interface and not just some string which means we can call different methods on it. And inside we are providing our test URL. What we want to do now, we want to add several parameters. So we can write here url.searchparams, and this is exactly our query parameters, dot append. And inside we are providing name and value. For example, here is foo, and our value is foo. And next will be our bar with the value bar. Now in order to get URL back, we must convert it to string, so we must call here URL dot to string. And this is how it looks like in browser. We have our base URL question mark foo equals foo and bar equals bar, which actually means this is plain JavaScript without any libraries, and this is how you can add parameters to your URL. The next question is how to get base URL if you have some query parameters. And typically what all people are doing, they simply split their string with question mark and they take the first argument. But we can do better. We can create here URL, which is a new URL. And inside we are providing our test URL. Now we can set here url.search equals empty string. With this we are removing all our query parameters. And now here we can use our URL dot to string, and it will be just a base URL. As you can see in browser, here is our base URL. But maybe you have a case that you need to remove not all query parameters, but just one of them. And this is also possible. Here we are creating our URL, just like we did before. And after this we can write URL dot search params dot delete. And here we are providing the name that we want to delete. For example, in our case, it can be param2. As you can see in browser, we are getting our query string with just a single parameter one, which we are keeping inside our URL. Another thing that we want really often, we want to parse all query parameters to the object inside JavaScript, so we can do some calculations with this data. So here back, we want to get our parameters as an object, and we are using here object.fromentries, and inside we are providing our URL dot search params dot entries. And as you can see, entries is returning for us an array of key value pairs, which actually means this is an iterator, and we want to use here from entries in order to create here a real object. This is why here let's have a look what is our params. As you can see, we are getting a nice object with key value where we can read all query parameters that we need to. So this is totally nice, we know how to get parameters from our URL, but how we can stringify our parameters that we create, for example, inside JavaScript to the URL. And let's say that these parameters here are coming from JavaScript and we want to stringify them. In order to do that, we can create here search params. And here we use new URL search params. So it is not just URL, but URL search params. And we're providing our params inside. Now here we can construct our new URL. So here I want to write HTTP localhost 3000 question mark. And here we want to provide our value. And this is not just search params, but search params to string. In this case, we will stringify our URL search params correctly. And here, let's have a look on our new URL. As you can see in browser, we are getting a nice URL with localhost 3000, and then our query parameters, which we took from our object and stringified correctly for our URL. And actually, if you are interested to know how CSS variables are working, make sure to check this video also.